a problem which has a great emotional connect with people. Diabetes in children, otherwise called as juvenile diabetes. And diabetes can come in children. It can even occur in newborn babies. When it occurs in newborn babies, we call it as neonatal diabetes. When it occurs before six months of age or before one year of age. That is called... Why do these children who were perfectly healthy, going to school, playing games, very active, suddenly develop diabetes? And what are the symptoms? The parents will say, but I don't have diabetes. How did this child get the diabetes? That is type 1 juvenile onset diabetes. Usually there is no family history at all. The child's life is dependent on insulin. The child's health is dependent on insulin. If you stop insulin, the child will die. You say, how was this treated years ago? 1921, a young orthopedic surgeon, Frederick Bantic, he was only 29 years old. He discovered insulin. That was an epoch-making event. Today, as I said, the artificial pancreas, the new ones have come to India only a couple of months ago. Already about 10 of my children have used that. Fantastic. You just put the pump. The pump decides how much insulin to give. Based on the blood sugar, which the pump automatically is checking and says, this is the amount of insulin to be given. Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of diabetes in my channel. Today we are going to talk about a problem which has a great emotional connect with people. Diabetes in children, otherwise called as juvenile diabetes. Now many people don't even know that diabetes can come in children. When you talk about diabetes, they think it's an old age disease. You get it when you're 60, 70, you get gray hair, you may become bald, you may get little blood pressure and you'll get little diabetes. Well, that is one form of type 2 diabetes. But there are many other forms and diabetes can come in children. It can even occur in newborn babies. When it occurs in newborn babies, we call it as neonatal diabetes. When it occurs before 6 months of age or before 1 year of age. That is called neonatal diabetes. It's a rare condition and such children who have got their diabetes before one year of age or before six months of age, they must undergo a genetic test. Why? Because if we find a gene which is causing that particular diabetes, those children with neonatal diabetes, they can stop insulin and they can be controlled with tablets. After one year of age, neonatal diabetes does not occur and the commonest form of diabetes which occurs is called as type 1 diabetes. Earlier it was called juvenile diabetes itself, but then adults may also get it. So we can't call it as juvenile onset adult diabetes, it's getting too complicated. So we change the name and we call it as type 1 and type 2. Usually type 2 occurs in adults, children may also get it nowadays because they become very obese. They are not doing exercise, they are eating junk food. So they can also get diabetes. But far more common is what we call as type 1 diabetes or insulin dependent diabetes. Why do these children who were perfectly healthy, going to school, playing games, very active, suddenly develop diabetes? And what are the symptoms? Usually the symptoms are quite marked and you can't miss it. Unlike in adults, where you can have diabetes for 10 years and not know about it until you develop some complication. Type 1 diabetes in children doesn't come that way. Child sugar starts rising very rapidly, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And by the time it goes to those kind of levels, the child is pretty sick, starts vomiting, 
starts passing lot of urine drinking lot of water excessive hunger all the time eating losing weight and becoming very dull and then when you go and check the blood sugar you will find it is 600 or 700 and the parents will say but i don't have diabetes my husband doesn't have diabetes i don't have diabetes my parents don't have diabetes how did this child get the diabetes that is type 1 juvenile onset diabetes usually there is no family history at all then why do these children get it they get it because of many reasons the most common is what we call as autoimmunity what is autoimmunity immunity you all know about your body's white cells fight the bacteria fight the viruses and keep you protected from all diseases that is called immunity what if that immunity gets altered a little bit a wrong kind of immunity sets in then what happens is those white cells in your body and those immune cells when they see your body parts in this case pancreas and the beta cells of the pancreas so the body is thinking there is some foreign body sitting there some enemy sitting there so let me go and finish that person so it starts attacking the beta cells thinking it is some virus or bacteria bang 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 until all the beta cells are dead how much time does it take it can happen in a week's time two weeks time it doesn't take years and years for it to happen within a few days the child was perfectly all right suddenly starts becoming dull not cooperating properly as i said drinking lot of water and so on and then you find that they have diabetes this diabetes unfortunately is called as insulin dependent diabetes what is dependent on insulin the child's life is dependent on insulin the child's health is dependent on insulin if you stop insulin the child will die then you may say how was this treated years ago there was no treatment believe it or not 1921 something very interesting happened when a young orthopedic surgeon frederick banting he was only 29 years old he along with a medical student who was only 20 years old discovered insulin at the university of toronto in 1921 that was an epoch making event which changed diabetes in general and type 1 diabetes or juvenile onset diabetes in particular completely until then if a child developed diabetes at the age of 8 10 and so on the average life span was 2 months 3 months by 6 months 1 year the child will go into a coma and die this was just 100 years ago all children used to die it was one of the saddest things a doctor could see the child dying under his or her own eyes the discovery of insulin changed all that completely and forever children started living longer better and better insulin started coming today we have human insulin analog insulins insulins which can be given through a syringe or with a pen or with a pump we have artificial pancreas which has come so many developments have occurred in the last 100 years but one thing has not changed every child with type 1 diabetes juvenile onset has to have insulin how you give it is immaterial you may give it through a pump which is automatically delivering it today as i said the artificial pancreas the new ones have come to india only a couple of months ago already about 10 of my children have used that fantastic you just put the pump the pump decides how much insulin to give based on the blood sugar which the pump automatically is checking and says this is the amount of insulin to be given sugar goes low pump switches off sugar goes high more insulin is given almost like a magic almost like an artificial pancreas that has come already it has come it's called as the hybrid artificial loop uh, closed loop system of insulin pump so so many technologies have come of course there's a cost attached to that but if you forget all that and just give the insulin before meals before breakfast before lunch before dinner and one insulin to cover the whole day that is how the body produces insulin and if you are able to imitate that by giving the insulin the child will be all right 
you may ask how long can this child be all right like that and how long will the child continue the insulin as long as you want the child to live you have to continue the insulin unfortunately that's the truth but the good news is that first we saw children living up to 10 years then 20 years then 30 40 50 60 last year in july we held a function where i put out a notice in social media and so on to identify who are the longest surviving people with type 1 diabetes who got it as children i identified eight people who had already crossed 60 years after getting their diabetes still on insulin alive and doing well no complications at all so i instituted what's called as the dr v mohan medal victory over diabetes medal i called it and we gave it to these eight people this is the first time that people realized in india even doctors even diabetologists nobody knew even i didn't know that people can actually live so long so that gave hope that people can live long lives even if they have juvenile onset type 1 diabetes the oldest patient i know of today is from nagpur he has got diabetes now for 75 years and i think this year he will celebrate his 90th birthday i'm waiting for him to cross 100 years of age like many of my patients with type 2 diabetes have already crossed 100 years but the oldest i think in the world reported is 95 or 96 year old type 1 and i'm quite hopeful that many of these people who are alive today will probably celebrate their 100th birthday so diabetes is no longer an incurable disease it is again nothing to be afraid of the problem is that you have to give insulin and insulin is given by injection once weekly insulin has come believe it or not you can take insulin once a week it's already come the advanced trials are going on and we are working on this or you switch over to one of these devices where you wear it and then take it so the good news is that you can have a long and healthy life despite diabetes my plea is that not a single child in the world leave alone india not a single child in the world should die because that child did not have access to insulin or could not afford the insulin to me insulin is like a fundamental right just as you should not deny water to somebody or food to somebody or air to somebody you should not deny insulin to any child who needs it you're working very hard with the government to make this possible in fact the government gives insulin free who has also made it a mandate i was part of the global compact last year at geneva when we produce this mandate to say that every child in the world has a right to have its insulin very soon i'll be bringing out a book describing all the experiences of children in india juvenile onset diabetes which occurs in children some of the stories are quite sad but most of the story, stories give a lot of hope that there is a bright future nothing should stop a child with type 1 diabetes or juvenile onset diabetes from achieving anything that that child wants to do in its life child wants to become a doctor lawyer climb a mountain win an olympic gold medal whatever it is the child should be able to achieve and there are many such examples which i have described in some of my books where people have won gold olympic gold medals one became uh, a pakistani cricketer who became the captain he had type 1 diabetes and many many other such examples so if your child has type 1 diabetes don't worry about it look after your child and make that child's life a very bright one give the child all the hope and encouragement because diabetes is not a disease it is only a simple disorder if you need any more information either about diabetes or about insulin or any other aspect of diabetes please stay tuned to my channel because there are so many videos describing all aspects of diabetes which i am confident will be very useful to you thank you